Eric Omondi responds to a section of entertainers over his fight of local content airplay. Plus, Major receives massive love as he performs in Dar es Salaam, Tanzania and details of hip-hop artist Rick Ross and the delivery guy. To access these and more updates, make sure you log on to www.evemungai.com for the latest. I'm Kingsley Alwoko for Mungai Eve. Entertainment News Roundup. Welcome. After the incident on the 9th of February with Eric Omondi camping outside parliament buildings in a cage-like structure, other local entertainers have reportedly clapped back at Eric Omondi over the alleged matters. Eric Omondi was fighting over 75% local content airplay, lobbying members of parliament to press the bill at the floor of the house to save on the country's art industry. Information reaching our news desk confirms that local artists feel Eric Omondi is fighting a dead-end battle for the artist. In his response to these allegations, Eric Omondi now says in a caption on a photo on his Instagram account, and I quote, So words on the street is that Eric Omondi has lost it. This is coming from Kenyan artist. If I have lost it, how comes I have nine shows this weekend and you have none? I put aside most of my corporate clans to fight for your lazy asses. I am even in trouble with some of them taking me to court. Most artists in this country are broken, sleeping angry with their houses being locked because they have refused to put in work. Remember, as Jalango puts it, talent is only 10% and hard work is 90%. Entertainment equals showbiz and showbiz calls on you to think and act out of the box. Eric Omondi himself is a national conversation. Eric Omondi is a corporate himself. As I told you, the biggest CEO and corporate is God. Wake your lazy asses up now. End of quote. This has elicited a lot of reactions online with fans feeling Eric Omondi might have been played with the members of the parliament. The parliament is yet to undergo recess ahead of the general elections as members vie for other political positions ahead of the August 9th event. In the rescue for Eric Omondi's bill was Embakasi East Member of Parliament Bob Wawino, representative of people living with disability Honorable Olesan Kok, South B Member of Parliament John Kiari, together with the Starehe Member of Parliament Charles Jagua, among others. We will keep you updated as this matters Eric Omondi and the 75% local content airplay and falls. Hi guys, Eric Omondi here, President of Comedy Africa. Now, word on the street is that Eric Omondi has lost it. And this is coming from Kenyan artists, musicians, and even shamefully comedians. If I have lost it, how come I'm the one at the airport going to Juba, South Sudan, for a sold out one man show? If I've lost it, how come this weekend I have nine shows and you have none? If I've lost it, how come I'm the only artist living in this country to go to two different countries only this weekend? On Monday, I have a show in Arusha, sold out Eric Omondi Live. Tomorrow, I have two shows. One at Commonwealth Hospital and one with the uh, Nairobi County Governor. On Sunday, I have two shows, the biggest shows, men conference at Quiver Lounge. Uh, and then later on, Love Branch at Two Rivers. If I've lost it, how come you're seated at home, you have no show and have shows? Use your common sense. I've stopped doing corporate events because of you. I tell you, come on, they will lose. Do you know how many corporate Do you see me doing Lato? Do you see me doing DSTV? Do you see me doing uh, Don Peke? Do you see me doing Baby Show? This, I have put those aside. I'm even in trouble with some of them that are taking me to court. To, Fight for your lazy ass. Stand up, wake up, shape up, go big or go home. Nonsense, stupid. Don't be lazy. Kenyan artists were lazy, comedians were predictable and boring. This is showbiz entertainment. God has given you the ability to create. Don't be boring. Showbiz is about creating, thinking out of the box. Eric Omondi is a national conversation. Eric Omondi went to the parliament to fight for your lazy ass. Eric Omondi is a national monument. He is being discussed all over the country while you sit in your one bedroom, broke, going angry with your one bedroom being locked because of rent arrears. You don't have money. Artists are broke in this country because they're lazy. Don't tell me Eric Omondi has lost it. Lost it for what? I am the most creative uh, entertainer in this country and in this continent because that's a God-given talent. You are here to make sure that people don't have pressure. You are boring, you're moving, the, g g g giving us the same sound, the same songs, doing the same repetitive, uh, boring uh, stuff. You must wake up. And this 2022, as we take leaders who will not help this country home during elections, I will ensure every comedian, every musician who is not raising this, the flag of this nation goes home. And the community has lost it. Do you? 
Do you know who has the most endorsements in this country? Can you compare? I have the most endorsements and I put them aside because of you. What are you talking about? Eric Omoni is a corporate himself. I am a company myself. And the biggest corporate I told you is God. That is the biggest CEO. That, that is my CEO. That is my corporate. That's my company. That's the company that I fear losing. I am a company myself. Eric Omoni has lost it and you're sitting at home. Where are your shows? Valentine is coming. Use your common sense. I've lost it how? Where was the show gun? Tell me one comedian who was a show this weekend. I have nine. Wake up. Find any cast. And now moving on swiftly, as we have witnessed in the past several celebrities coming in the country to perform ahead in various events, especially in the December holidays, our very own are now continually moving out to perform in different cities. In response to this news, singer and gengeton artist Nameye Khadija, popularly known as Major Okonko, has let out an applause appreciating the Tanzanians for the immense support and love he was shown over this week at Arusha. Through his social media pages, Okonko has documented in a post and captioned this and I quote, Nilienda Tanzania ku perform, bana those people love Gengeton, I'm overwhelmed with hearty emojis, end of quote. He added saying that the kind of love his fans from Tanzania has seen is beyond measure. This comes even after singer and songwriter Nigerian Afrobeat and pop artist Ira Star mentioned on the same as she toured Dar es Salaam around January. Ara Star will be performing in Kenya as well over this weekend, tomorrow on Saturday at the Thrift Social event. And now across the borders in a series of videos posted on his Instagram stories, rapper Recross criticized a delivery man after he requested to see his ID before handing over a package. The first clip shows Ross approaching the truck as it arrived on his property, filming the delivery man and asking if he has a delivery for the biggest boss Recross. He proceeded to film as the man took out the package and the gardeners looked on. Philip, what you say you need, he said when the delivery guy politely asked to see his identification. I'm the boss. I don't need ID. Boss, Rosé responded. The driver confirmed that the package was addressed to Rick Ross, real name William Leonard Roberts too, to which Ross said, yeah, that's me. Give me that. The man refused and once again asked to see some identification. This the ID, he said as he pointed to one of his lavish motorbikes. He then, as the man eventually handed over the package in a moment, he didn't film, thanked him in Spanish. Muchas gracias, he said. Though Ross doesn't outright say what's in the package, the rapper alluded to it containing jewelry. Million on the pinky, he can be heard saying. The video has provoked a reaction on social media from some critical of Ross. Some suggested that he was making the driver's job more difficult in an attempt to flex, while others laughed at the idea that everyone will immediately know who Rosé is. To access these and more updates, make sure you log on to www.evemungai.com for the latest. Give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell. My name is Kingsley Lwoko for Mungai Eve Entertainment News.